Hi there, it's June from Paints, Pots and Paper and Jot's Journals Creations. Um, I did say that my next video would be a flip through, but I thought I'd just put this one in as an extra. Oh, by the way, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, what I'm doing is I just thought I'd put in an extra video and uh, just to show how I'm going to decorate the cover of the Boho Art Journal and um, I'll be doing the other one more or less identical, not quite exactly the same but more or less the same. So I just thought I'd bring you along to show you how I'm doing this one. I've sorted out some bits and I more or less know what I want to do with it and I've been doing some gilding, gilding some bits just with the Pebio, I think it Pebio gilding paste. Where are we? Yeah, it's Pebio. I don't know if you can see that. Pebio gilding wax. And uh, this one's copper, I do believe. Let's have a look. yeah copper yeah and um i just thought just to lift these things off of the cover a bit i thought it'd be nice to put a bit of gilding wax around them and um oh, i've been doing the same with this frame it needs a little bit more before i did that i did I inked round it just to darken it a little bit because they're like a pale natural wood. And I'm just adding a bit more of this gilding. And then when it's dried a bit, you'll see where I'm going with this. It's very chilly here at the moment. Not freezing or anything, but it is chilly. But um, I'm not containing because it's dry, lovely and dry. And I'm very snug in here in my little she shed with my heater on. And I've got a nice uh, cup of hot herbal tea. It's um, cherry flavored this one. I'm just gonna have a quick sip actually. Mm. and that's gorgeous it tastes of Morello cherries and I just thought it'd be a nice drink so it was like that the frame so I've darkened it with smink and I'm just using some bronze gilding wax around it now what I'm intending is give me wipe that off my hands otherwise I'll get it everywhere I can find a bit wet Yeah, I'm in here with Poppy, of course. She's on the settee. I'll never go far without her, or I'm not sure if she's that way around or the other way around. She doesn't go far without me. I think we come as a pair, actually. show you I'm going to let's just put the lid back on the gilding wax for now because I don't want it drying out now what I'm intending to do is frame this on the front uh, but as you I haven't gilded around this for obvious reasons because I'm going to trim it and then frame it and I'm just trying to decide what piece of the picture I want to capture the most in the frame. Um, it's quite nice. Not too worried about the base of the pot. That's rather nice. I like the bit of purple up there. Yeah, I think that makes it quite pleasing. I'll just take it over to the side a bit. Now, just move that out of the way. What I'm going to do 
this just let's just get the power on to uh, should we take that and have that top copy in down a bit and have the envelope in I'm going to take it up actually and get that top copy in that's it now what I'm going to do is rather than cut rather than draw around the inside I'm going to draw around the outside where I know the frame goes I've got an alarm going off at this and we have to excuse the background noise I've got the builders working over the back there well I haven't got the builders working over the back there today um, but yeah they're still working on those houses over there and um, do you know I've gone past the stage of being upset that they're building there I've now got to the stage where I think I just want them to hurry up and finish and they seem to be really slow we've had a lot of building going on around here on the island lately but um, the other places you know they that they've built seem to have gone up really quickly and all right if you've got to put up with it if you've got to have building there then you know you don't need it going on and on and on for years and um well, so i'll just uh, yeah you don't need it going on for years anyway basically it's still going on over there i think they've built probably about 10 houses and it's taken them all year to do that so goodness knows how long i think they're building 60 odd houses so <laughs> we could be here forever um the builders next door to us aren't there today haven't been there for a couple of days so that's been a bit peaceful got to the point where we're along for weekends now back to this i'm cutting inside of my pencil line because I don't really want it poking out of the frame. Let's try that one. Probably need a weeny bit off the oh, I want that there. I was looking at there, wasn't I? Sing a bit more off the bottom. Exactly, as long as it attaches to the frame. That's it. Now what I'm going to do is put my glue around this. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because it's quite strong and this is wood after all. If I can get it to come out, here it comes. As I say, there's an alarm going off over there somewhere, I think. But the noise has set off a car alarm or some such thing. <laughs> Unless it's have a car alarm. So we put plenty of glue on. sure it sticks well and it also gives me a bit of um I mean yeah, I'm just oh, sorry getting out of shot there um I tend to drag things to the front of the desk when I'm working which is fine if you're not trying to film it right now I'm going to put this On the top, roughly where I want to. So. I'm trying 
try not to stick it to the table. Now you see it's crooked on the back, but that doesn't matter. Because that's not going to show, is it? That's going to be glued down to the cover. And that doesn't matter too much. Right, now. A rough idea of what I want to. I'm not sure I'll get it up the right way. That would be a bit of a disaster, wouldn't it? Decorating the cover upside down. central I thought about there what do you think Not there. I know the, the fabric on the cover is a bit crooked um, I don't know whether, or is it no it's just me going crooked isn't it the fabric's not too bad it's a bit oh well it's going excuse my I think about there Maybe a fraction over that way. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna put that about there, but before I do, I've got a few other bits I want to put down that I found that I think might go. Now this one that I showed you earlier, these pieces, this uh comes from um like an ephemera kit that you can buy to go with the um, Paper Mania uh, art, 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 Artelia's Desarts, I think it's called something like that. But it's like a boho art pack. Um, you know, you get the, the pads, hold on. This sort of thing. I haven't got the front cover anymore, unfortunately, because it's been, been cut up. But, um, yeah, it's one of these Paper Mania pads. And uh, you can buy the extra ephemera, and it's good because it's like cardstock. So, what do they call it? Chipboard, really, isn't it? Chipboard. Um, so, yeah, so it's, it's strong enough and durable enough to sit on a cover. And I thought they'd be perfect. They're too thick to put inside. The, well, you can put, I've put a few bits in the journal, but they're too thick to put too many in, you know? So I thought, well, they're ideal on the cover. Now, let's have that about there. And I thought, tuck this underneath, perhaps at a slight angle, and just make sure that the brushes don't poke over that side too far. I think that's where that's going to go. Yeah, I'm pleased with that so far. So, without disturbing that too much, I'm going to get this glued up. Hope I'm not too close to the camera. No, I don't think I am actually. You'll have to let me know in the comments below if I'm sort of in or out of camera when I'm doing these because I'm not not that good at it yet. But, <laughs> but I'm trying. Yes, we're definitely in autumn here in the UK. So down here in the southeast, we did have a lot, well, we had a lot of rain around the country. We didn't have as much in the southeast, but it's been pretty wet and it's just been nice the last couple of days. We've had two dry days, but today I think it's, oops, <laughs> oh, dear. It'd be good if I glue it to the desk, won't it? But today's the driest, the, the coldest, should I say, of the two days two or three days we've had. So I'm just concentrating where I want to put this. Um, I think. Just a slight angle there. So. Get a good squash down so that it all makes contact with the 
that all makes contact with the um, cover, the fabric on the cover. I'm going to open it up and push down from the inside. Hope it stays in place. So I just want to make sure all of it makes contact with the fabric. This one here, right round about, um, round about there. Show the brushes. Yeah, so let's get some glue on this. Uh, just had fireworks night here in the UK. Well, it was Sunday and it's uh, Tuesday today. Um, and yeah, my little dog didn't take too much notice of it. She, a couple of times she did go to go out to the loo and just as she was going out the door, when I thought it was quiet, some went off. And she did flinch a bit and sort of duck back in. But then what I did was I waited for a lull in the fireworks and said, oh, come on in quick, quick. And uh, then she nipped out quick then. So she was sort of dashing out in between fireworks. But apart from that, when she was in the lounge with us, she was quite calm about it all, which was good. Just turn that over a little bit. So, so I don't want these edges in line with each other. So then once again, I'm gonna take it over that way. Make sure it's making contact with the fabric. Right, excuse me, I'm just going to have a quick sip of my fruit tea while I'm doing this. Oh, that's one was. Very, very nice. I don't normally drink fruit teas, but I saw these in the supermarket when I was shopping yesterday and I thought, hmm. I haven't seen cherry ones before and I love cherry and hot cherry is gorgeous. So I thought, yeah, I'll give them a go. But I must admit, I do put, with the fruit teas, I do tend to put two bags in instead of one because I do like to really taste it. Sometimes they can be a bit weak. But, um, yeah, I think, I mean, this is quite strong, actually. So I think next time I'll uh, try it with just the one and then add another one if I need to. Excuse me. I had to put my iPad up to one side here to stop the too much sun, I'll just remove it, too much sun shining onto my desk. But uh, I'm not complaining about the sunshine, it is lovely, really nice. Now, I think what else I want on here. Um, I did have two of these, which I've gilded. Um, perhaps, I'll, perhaps that could go up there. That'd be quite nice. Um, what do you think? I think perhaps I'll take it over a little bit. Yeah, I think that can go on there. Let's 
just fit there. You never know whether quite whether it's the actual chipboard piece moving or whether it's just because the fabric's soft. But I think it's making contact, just give it a couple of seconds. This other one that I gilded, that could be quite nice up there. Yeah, I think that's going to go there. I don't want to be too long deciding on this because, as you know, I've set myself a challenge to get at least one of them finished for the... <clears throat> For Monday's video, which I'll probably record Sunday and upload for Monday. But I'm determined to get at least one of them finished and the other one near enough finished because they've gone on too long and I'm looking forward to seeing the finished article as well. So let's just tuck him under there a little bit next to it. Come on, straighten up. Don't want a wet, wet wipe on there, do we? Should have put these flatter pieces on first before putting that on, then I wouldn't. I'd be able to flatten it down better, but oh, never learn. Anyway, I hope you're all well and uh, having a nice, relaxing day or getting on with your crafting. Let me know what you're working on. I'd love to see what you're working on. I do like to see what other people are doing. It, it's all inspiration, isn't it? And um, motivates you. Let's get that bit of glue off. That's that on. It's just coming on quite nicely, actually. I'm quite pleased with this. Now, I think I'd like Some embellishments, but I think what I'm going to do is I've got some trim that I'm going to put around the bottom, it's nice and jingly and very boho, I think. Now you have to work out how you're spacing these out a bit because they're a bit. I want to try and get three on the front, all the way around, is it? Yeah, it goes. 
that way. The gold is supposed to show. No, 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 that should. If I take that about there, I'll get those three on the front then. Then I'm going to see if I can get a couple to go on the back in between. That should do it. Oh, knock anything over now. This is uh, very blingy, as <laughs> you've probably noticed. Um, but then it is meant to be boho, so that's the theme that I'm going with. And uh, yeah, that should be all right there. If I snip this off, I'm going to do it roughly at first, but I'll find my fabric scissors. Oh, look at that. And, uh, snip that off there. Am I in camera? Oh, I'm sorry if I keep asking. It's just, I don't know. And uh, it should give me enough wiggle room so to speak <clears throat> right now i'm gonna make sure these are all glued down going to um, a nice lot of fabric tack along the bottom here because <clears throat> it's got to hold the trim on and hold it against that bit of chipboard there against fabric and there's like a little mirror thing there so I'm going to need plenty I don't want it don't want it coming off I don't want whoever buys it to have bits falling off of it do in a minute is trim these ends off and I'll get it a bit dry. I've got um, some plants I need to put in really in my garden but I so it's just been too wet to do it and then the last couple of days I could have done what the day wants to get on with this <coughs> but um, yeah, yesterday I had a dental appointment and then other things to do. And we were expecting my stepdaughter over with her son's motorbike, but they couldn't make it. So I'm not sure when they're coming over, but um, yeah, so I didn't get any of this done and I didn't get my plant planted. I've got a jasmine and um, where they're building next door, they've increase the height of the patio which means we're completely overlooked and we've got laws about how high you can have fences and things like that so what we've done we've put a trough along where it's going to be pretty open and um, earlier on this year I planted in it a, what's called a red robin which grows pretty vigorously and grows tall and pushes out just to give us a bit of privacy and um, and also give the new neighbours a bit of privacy when they move in. And uh, I've bought a uh, jasmine and it, it's, a, it's an evergreen jasmine and it's um, and it blooms in the winter and the spring with uh, beautiful white flowers. I think it's called star jasmine or something, but it's an evergreen one. So, um, yeah, that I'm waiting to get that planted in. And then we're just going to put a little bit of trellis up the top so it can climb along the rest of the fence. 
So, yeah, then I'll be quite happy. You know, obviously you don't want to shut people out altogether. But when you're used to having your privacy, you, and we've got a big patio up there as well. So, I'll say up there because it's on a higher level than the rest of the garden. We come down. There's a couple of sets of steps you can come down to get onto the garden. <clears throat> and to get down to this a she shed so um so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we get a couple more dry days because uh, I've got to get this winter jasmine in and also I've got some areas of my garden that I rewilded as three sort of areas two quite large ones and um I've got some wildflower seeds, but they can't go in yet, but I've got some, some of them can go in, are supposed to go in this time of the year because I need the cold to get them germinated. They're, they're um, yellow rattle. And the idea of those is not only do they flower and provide food for bees, etc. They also keep the grass down because obviously we've just let the grass grow long. We've put a few wildflowers in, um, but I want some more, so there to keep the grass down and then what I'll do is, what I'm hoping to do is get out, I need to trim it all. Now it's all died down. I need to trim it all, rake it up a bit, put those seeds in and prepare it also to put some seeds in in early spring. So hopefully I'll have an even prettier meadow next year in the summer. front bit. I don't want to trim or take it in actually. Do you know what? I think I'm going to just turn it in there. A little bit of extra bling on that side won't hurt and I think it'll... Sorry, you probably couldn't see what I was doing there. Um, yeah, I was going to cut this off but there's quite a bit of it were enough. Sorry about this. Yeah, there's quite quite a bit of it and there's enough really to turn over which will make it a better edge just in case it frays so I think I'm going to just turn that in and it'll add a little bit of bling on the inside but that doesn't really matter does it the more the merrier in this case All right, so let's just bring that over And just tuck that over there. Actually perfect, just onto that little dot there. And that goes nicely. I'll hold that for a minute. There's my whip. Let's see if that's a lot neater. And that fabric tack should stop that fraying. If I think it's going to start to fry, I'll just put some extra fabric tack on it. But I think the fact that it's quite well glued down, that should be fine. But I think that's a better idea than trimming it off, to be honest. Make sure I'm completely. Now this side, I might do the same, but it's a bit too much. a bit too much to yeah I'm just going to take that little bit and do about the same amount on this side
Which is the amount of fabric I can get through is nobody's business. That's it. It's holding down. No, I may end up with a bag stuck to my journal. There's a couple of bits I think I want to do on this side yet. Now, I just want to... I like it as it is, but it needs prettying up a bit, I think. So I'm going to add a butterfly or two. Let's have a look. stickers are very very sticky now I've no idea whatsoever where I've got these butterflies from I've got a, like a sheet of them and I can't for the life of me remember where they came from or even how long I've had them I know I've had them a while it could be a very long time but uh, yeah who knows A little bit <coughs> raised and 3D with the rest of it. And we'll see if I can find one to go on here, up here somewhere. So I'll find one that's in the colour. So I've got a big one, but it's a bit quite like something on there, but. It's a bit big, I think. Perhaps I might try this little one. And just pick, put him on there. And pop. Yeah. Oh, he's sort of sitting on the edge of the pot. Once again, he's on like a little glue dot thing. Raised, raised glue, 3D glue dot thing. I'm sure I have them. I can put on here just to liven it up a bit. I may later on get some, um, oh, what's it called? The, the uh, glaze stuff on the flowers, or I might get some glitter on them, I'm not sure. But I haven't got any out here with me at the moment, so I can't do that now. Um, I've got some of these flowers, which are quite nice. And they, the whole theme is sort of flowers and, butterflies and 
obviously art kit and boho and all that. I like the idea of one on there. And that's quite nice. Um, and I thought perhaps one on the corners, one on each corner, would be quite nice. Let's tuck him under the butterfly's wing. Yeah. Yeah, I think I quite like that actually. I'm trying not to overthink any of this because otherwise it takes forever and I know I'm very slow. So let's get these on. Yeah, he's going up there whether he wants to or not. Just to enhance it a bit. And yeah, we're gonna have one on each corner instead of uh, metal corners, I think, instead of. Did that the wrong way round. I meant to put the glue on this, but. Oh dear. There we go. I hope you're having a nice relaxing afternoon anyway. I think I've already said that and I'm <laughs> repeating myself, oh dear. One of them signs, isn't it? Then when you think about it, we probably repeat ourselves when we're younger. But nobody thinks of anything of it. They just think it's excitement of youth and stuff like that, don't they? It's only if you repeat yourself as you get older, people say, oh, you're getting old, you're repeating yourself. Or is that just me that thinks that? But, you know, when you think about it, sort of children repeat themselves all the time. Teenagers do. People in their 30s and 40s do. Nobody says anything. You repeat yourself when you're my age, <laughs> which is pretty old. Um, and yeah, it's a sign of old age. All right. Now, I think I'm more or less happy with that on the front. I quite like that. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, yeah, maybe a bit of glaze or glitter on the flowers to make them stand out a bit more because they are a picture and I suppose really the focal point. So I may well put some, um, I can't remember what it's called now, something called the drops, isn't it? That you, I've got some indoors, but <laughs> no good indoors, I know. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to, and that's that might just. on each of these on the back corners as well, you know. Very pretty. Yeah, because it's going to be tied up from here. Then I might find something to actually fix onto the back um, to decorate the back with, but I'm not sure what. Yeah. A set of suitcases here. And I've got a another actually that's nice it's a repeat of the one on the front so yeah i think that's going to go on now not sure what else but i'm going to get these flowers on without thinking about it sometimes you just got to go with your first thought haven't you and not overthink it
What's the uh, weather like? I know some of our viewers are from America. Um, what's your weather doing there? Um, I'm on these people, I've got no idea of world climates particularly, unless it's on the news. Um, I'm trying not to watch too much now. I watch it about once a day. That's enough for me because it's, you know, not always that good. I was just guilt this. No doubt I managed to get it just about everywhere because I'm not there. Well, I'm quite a mucky pup. really want that on that bit but it's there now once this stuff's on it that's it isn't it? it just almost instantly dries mm, didn't quite come off that right now i should leave that to dry really but i don't want this video to be too long and i've got to go off and sort out the the um what's it called the my head's like a sieve, it's re it really is, it's hopeless. Um, the the closure, that's the one. <laughs> oh, I'm useless, I have memory. But I'm going to get this on, I'm going to put it centrally, I think. I don't intend putting pockets on the back of these. I think I've spent enough time on it, anybody well, whoever gets them can decide themselves they want to put anything else on the back. Um, I've got to leave something for the recipient to play with. Mm. I was going to say, excuse my head, but I can't really get it in the way because the camera's so low, I'd have to squash right down. I'd get it everywhere in my life. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. I've got the worst bit off. You can still see what's there. Just. <laughs> That'll teach me to stick things on when the gilding wax is still wet. No patience. But I think that looks okay anyway. It's not meant to be perfect. Now I didn't turn it over. Well, I can, no, I'm going to clean my hands first. Oh dear. Do you get in this sort of mess? Do you really, or am I the only one? Don't know how to put the water won't lift it anyway, will it? Well, whatever's on these, on the wet wipes. Because I think this is acrylic, isn't it? This gilding wax. I think it's Pebio, is that? I'm not sure if that's German or French actually, but I think it could be German actually. But anyway. I think it's uh, some kind of acrylic or some such thing. It dries quickly and once it's there, it's there, unless it's like, um, what the other thing be? Oh, um, alcohol. I think actually from the smell of it, it's probably alcohol based. When alcohol inks dry really quickly, don't know, and once they're on, that's it. So I reckon that's a similar sort of base on that. Just wish my fabric tack would dry as quick. I don't know if this is. Bit that little bit, little corner bit off. Oh, I don't 
I put my wait, 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 I'm dreadful. Panic. Oh, there it is. The amount of times I've put a wet, wet point, wet, <laughs> can't speak now. Bip, 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 bip. A wet, a wet, no, <laughs> a wet, wet wipe. And the amount of times I've put it down on my desk, forgotten all about it, not taken any notice, and then found it's been sitting on a finished journal and it's completely ruined it by making it all wet and cockled. So now I get very paranoid about them and Generally, as I'm about to do now, is keep them off the desk altogether and just keep the dry ones on the desk. Because I've done that. I have done, I think I've ruined probably about four journals like that. And it is really, really <laughs> sickening, I can tell you. So, yeah, and a pretty untidy desk. Well, you know, you've got all your bits all over the place everywhere and um, it's easy done. And I just got so fed up with myself ruining things that I thought, no, not again. Now, that's as far as I've got with it. As far as I'm getting to done anyway. The other one I'm going to do almost the same. And I'm going to make holes for the closure. So that it just ties up at the front here. And obviously put little... Um, you know, the round circular metal things <laughs> on there. And um, yeah, and then I thought I'm gonna find something to put through it. I think, considering the um, the type of journal is, I think I've got some nice, pretty sure I've got some nice um, colored uh, sari silk. That would be ideal for closure so I'm going to sort that one out get the closures on and any other little decorations I fancy on the front or back and then I'm going to get on get the rest of my tags decorated so I can get them all back in and then just do a quick bit of decorating on the pages and then I should have at least one done Fingers crossed by the weekend. Um, I am trying my best. Uh, I'm trying to speed up a bit. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, perhaps given you some ideas of decorating your covers and things. And um, yeah, I will get the rest of it done. I will get at least one done, she says, by Sunday to film it, film a flip through and upload it Monday. So thank you very much for joining me. It's been lovely having you here. And um, take care everybody and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.